All right, guys, so Isaiah is here with myself, and we're taking some nice pictures of my, um, ugh, you won't be able to see, this is my big female Lampropalma Valisiopes, Singapore Blue. So Isaiah, what do you think of this spider? She is getting big. The last time I saw her, Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> now, the problem is with these uh, Lampro Palma is that there are flipping fast. And the goal is for escape tarantulas to never panic, even though that it may seem hard to do, especially for a species like this. <laughs> yeah. You know, after having, what was it that the tarantula that ran up my head? Oh, it wasn't it the Kilobrachy species King Cratchit? Yeah. Yeah. After having those run up your head, you get pretty used to tarantula. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Actually, maybe you should turn that light on, mm -hmm. so we can actually see the colors. Can you shine the light? Here, let me put this on her so you guys can get a good view without her bolting. Nah, uh, you really can't see that well. Here, let me see. Well, no, put it down. Just open the lid very, very slowly. And I'm just gonna take my my spotlight and hang on, let me put this on macro so you can see. Here, look how beefy she is compared to uh, when I picked her up at the November Expo. And then at least she's wet, like almost uh, five and a half, pushing six inches now. It seems like it. Yeah, these guys got up to about eight inches. So that's really cool. And here's a quick shot I got of her. Yeah. Which camera are you using? This is what, the Nikon? No, this is the Olympus M5 Mark II. M5 Mark II. With uh, the M Zucchio 60mm lens. Wow, nice. It's yep. a really serious setup. <laughs> yeah, man, it's pretty good for... Yeah, and it's pretty ironic because the, the last the last time we, we did a video together, filming um, one, of our, one of my tarantulas was the OBT. Mm. Remember how calm she was? It's crazy calm. It was crazy calm, and, and I saw a lot of you two, uh, you guys commenting on the video saying like, "Oh, she's super calm." Well, sometimes she is, but most of the time she's evil. This is an exception. Mm. <laughs> All right. Are you sure, you didn't slip anything in that Pimarinus, sir? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I guess uh, she was very, she was being very ladylike. Yep. All right, so now what did we do? We photographed the H poker piece. H poker piece, which uh, I'll be posting on the Facebook, and also I'll link uh, to you Isaiah's Instagram. So that's going to be good. Uh, we have a P fasciata, freshly molted picture. My Arnada molted. She's absolutely looking very, very green. And a couple of other tarantulas that molted uh, were the following. Oh, okay, we, these were not part of the photo, photograph. Uh, this one, right? Yeah. We gotta, we gotta film this one. Here, bring the light over. Hi guys, like a f freshly molted female. Uh, Petrino Palma Sazame, which is the Brazilian Blue Beauty. Freshly molted girl. Oh yeah, you have to show them your uh, species blue. Oh yes. Was in this one? Uh, we'll grab that one because I do want to film this one. This is the one that you know never seems to be in any of my feeding videos because uh, she was never hungry. But uh, check her out. This is a Davis Pentaloris. Quick. <laughs> Very quick female Costa Rican tiger rump. Yeah, here you can see her old molt. There's her old molt, yeah. Looking very pretty in pink. How big would you say she is now? Uh, she's adult, like I would say a good four inches. Yeah. And the pièce de résistance. Drum roll, please. My Zenita species, Columbia Blue. Ooh. 
we're gonna take a nice picture of her. Is she, did she just pluck Harris? Yeah. Oh yeah. I can see the cloud already. Harris is something I could not deal with. Wow, look how pretty she is, eh? Mm-hmm. Sweet. All right, should we transfer, are we still gonna take some more pictures of the Lapper Palma or? Uh, no, I'm okay. You're good? Yeah. Okay, so maybe we should film on how to safely transfer her back. Mm -hmm. Because that's gonna be a nice uh, feat in itself. Okay. Okay, where's my paintbrush? Can you give me a paintbrush, please? She'll, you don't think she'll probably go through the hole? Oh, yeah, I think. Hang on. I just don't want to go too close and I want my... I don't want to lose my fingers <laughs> on the species. Oh, it looks like she... Come on. Going from a very cooperative H. Poker piece to a non cooperative Lampropelma. She seems to be pretty calm at the moment. Yeah. But I do not want to test my luck with her. probably gonna ask Ryan to give me a, a bigger enclosure for this one because I don't like it. it's too small for her. Yeah. I'm gonna ask Ryan before uh, he brings me in my S. Calciatum female and I got a bunch more coming up. Yeah Ryan's a cool dude. Ryan's a very cool dude yeah. and you guys know him from my videos you actually saw him in person in my <laughs> Where was it? The um, Carabina Laeta molting vi mating video? Mm -hmm. Watch your fingers, Isaiah. It's sick. There you there go. There we go. Okay. All right, perfect. All right, cool walk us through how to uh, try to make a good picture of her so pretty much for me anyway I try to get like a face portrait shot mm -hmm. because I find that when you get up close and personal with an invertebrate or an animal or whatever mm -hmm. it really removes the stereotype yes that they're giant scary monsters right so if you could get up close and personal with them mm -hmm. people will see you know the beauty of them yeah exactly I agree because with the majority of the public and in the media mm -hmm. you know they make it seem like tarantulas could kill you with a single bite when right exactly most of the time their venom is comparative to a bee sting right with that's only but that varies through lo locality and that's yeah. the difference between new world and old worlds like old worlds typically have much more potent venom mm -hmm. than new worlds which are medically uh, in insignificant mm -hmm. so however there are a few exceptions like um i think what was it tapnikinius yeah sorry. pseudoclomorus and salmopius typically have a little bit stronger venom with um more so than typically um or typical new world species yeah in general i mean you don't have to be worried about tarantula venom unless you're allergic to a healthy adult human yeah it will kill you yeah but for, for tarantulas uh they they don't even have the peptides to induce an allergic reaction so we're pretty much safe like 
the worst case scenario that could happen is that you can go f to hospital a few days for just for um, severe muscle leg cramps, which is very typical of um, pokies. Yeah. Uh, I remember Rob C uh, back in the day when he used to make videos. Uh, he got bitten by what I think his 10 inch uh, female ornata clover at the time and I think he had to go to the hospital to um, for his pain uh, yeah, he, was, I, he was he was in really bad shape I remember that video it's crazy yeah it was scary like all, all trying to save a mature male <laughs> I salute him so right now with my lens I'm just gonna try to get as close to her face as possible yeah sometimes tarantulas aren't cooperative uh, we were trying to get a picture of the zenithus species blue and she was not having it. Yeah, sometimes you just have to... Yeah, she, all, all she was doing is kicking urticating hairs left, right, and center. <laughs> okay, there's the, the man at work. Thought it'd be a cool video to show you guys. And yes, I will remove the mold. <sighs> Even though it looks like a real spider, it's the intact mold. And I've shown you in many videos how to sex this. I know for sure this is female because she's been with me for about close to ooh, almost uh, nine years now. Oh, that one? Yeah. Well. She was probably, uh, what was it? She was probably my fourth tarantula that I bought from Amanda in 2008. No, 11, no, 11 years. 11 years. I've had her. Wow. Yeah, her name is Stella. Of course, from the Angry Birds. Okay. <laughs> I used to play Angry Birds at the time. Now I kind of stop because... Oh, you don't play anymore? I, I do, but it's like, I don't play Angry Birds 2 anymore because it's, it's too monotonous, unfortunately. And the flash does not hurt uh, their eyes whatsoever. You see the pictures? Oh yeah. Yeah, he loves taking pictures of the face. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos to come. Um, right now, I'll be recording a tarantula feeding video 144. If you haven't seen that in a while, and that should be cool. All right, Isaiah. So, peace. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.